Okay, question of the day. Why the hell is Tokyo Otaku Mode upcharging the Be Free Chainsaw Man Power Bunny version 1 4 scale by over $100? They like charging year 2050 inflation prices up in here. Anyways, today I want to talk about Best Boy Fujimoto. The legend who brought us the legendary Chainsaw Man franchise and gave us some unforgettable characters like Kobene. Get to find S. Yoshida. That's a big game, man. The cool thing about Fujimoto is that he's very open about how much he gets inspired by other IPs from a creative standpoint. I mean, the biggest revelation we got during Chainsaw Man Season 1 airing is how much he loves movies. You're even getting a movie-inspired illustration card with every purchase of the physical Chainsaw Man Blu-ray. Like, come on. That power kill Bill crossover? Oh my heavenly father. We eating good! One of the funniest exchanges for me is when Fujimoto was going back and forth with Studio Ghibli. Using the fake persona of his imaginary 8 year old sister Koharu, he was gushing about Ghibli's latest projects. In response, Ghibli is like, Thank you, Koharu chan. Give our regards to your older brother. Chainsaw Man was very good. Mad Lad Fujimoto's response, which roughly translates to, From today, I am Ghibli's dog. I am in your care. Very strange way of two ghosts conversing with each other, but I'll take it. Now with the main video subject at hand, Fujimoto's love for Kyo Annie. Starting off in Exhibit A, Asa Mitaka from Chainsaw Man Part 2 and Tamako from Tamako Market. I mean look at this, both characters got really similar designs. They got that one piece school uniform overalls with also matching twin ponytails. Not only that, they are both associated with chickens. Siri, cue just the two of us. Now moving to Exhibit B, okay. <laughs> This is something all of us Chainsaw Man fans are familiar with, but could somebody explain to me how Kyo Eni's Kobayashi is the exact clone copy of Makima? We have seen memes after memes comparing these two. Konnichiwa, Kobayashi-san. Konnichiwa, de, dare. Not only do both of them got the office lady trip with red hair, if we really want to analyze their character, they pretty much got the same powers. They both got blonde slaves simping after them. At this point, Mad Lad Fujimoto gotta send some royalty checks to kill Annie. Now, on a much serious note, we of course have to mention Fujimoto's tribute to kill Annie in his iconic one shot, Look Back. This was a project that coincided with the two year anniversary of the Kill Annie fires. It was this really touching story between two childhood friends and their pursuit in art. I will spare you a full on review, but a major component of the story was the scene of the killer at the art school. This psychopath started to attack the art students with an axe and started to accuse the main character, Kyomoto, for plagiarizing his art. One thing I really respected of Fujimoto sensei was that he didn't show the violent killings of the axemen within the actual panels. We know Fujimoto sort of embraces brutal killing scenes and is not afraid to pull his punches. However, because the parallelism between the Kyoani fires and this overall one-shot was so strong, Sensei explicitly left out his typical violent drawings out of respect for the Kyoani fire victims. He also imagines a scenario within the one-shot where his alter ego character, Fujino, saves the day by stopping the killer from killing her friend, Kyomoto. It was a world where Fujino never continued with drawing but decided to take up karate with her sister. But then, Fujino suddenly wakes up from this fantasy, now in a reality where her friend is dead from a senseless murder. This is where she picks herself back up to continue her pursuit as a manga artist in loving memory of her now deceased friend. All of this really ties well with the overarching hidden message of look back. First page it says don't. Last page it says in anger. Together it says don't look back in anger, which is an ode to the 1995 Oasis song, but I think it's Fujimoto's way of moving on peacefully in regards to kill any fires. Let's not be anchored by hate and anger, but in respect to the people who have passed, let's look forward to put out the best art possible. 
Fujimoto never outright came out praising KyoAni, but with all these laid out coincidences, you can tell this man deeply respects this legendary anime studio. This has been your boy Yiman. Until next time, peace out.